And when you're ready, you say, action. Action. Right, so we're talking about pat lunches. And I want to talk about, in particular, pat lunches using the freezer. I hate making pat lunches. So anything I can do to make it easier will help. First thing you need is some really, really good freezer bags. Now these ones are Ziploc ones and they're quite strong so you can use them over and over again. You don't waste them. So the first thing is bread for sandwiches. Never run out of bread for sandwiches. You can just freeze. So I've got two children so I can just freeze four slices of bread like that in one bag and I know there's going to be red, bread um, that's not gone stale and ready for the next day's pack lunches. Next thing, the next thing is cheese. You can buy cheese in bulk. Then uh, grate it. Grated cheese and then just put a bit of the grated cheese in the bag, enough for two sandwiches, and that can go straight in the freezer as well. Second thing, okay. Uh, can you do that bit again? Because you accidentally moved the book. Okay. Third blender. Right, number, th number three is um, these kind of yogurty tubes, fruity type stuff which um, if you can buy them in bulk, you can stick them in the freezer. They're not that healthy, but they're a bit of a treat. Sometimes so in hot water. To defrost them in hot water. They'd be defrosted by the time you get to school. That's three things. Uh, number four. Uh, number four is this, which is, um, I've got some cake I made. It's a really simple basic cake and it freezes really well. It's called yogurt pot cake. And it comes out like that. Very good for freezing. In the morning you can you can cut it in half and then you can pimp it with a bit of a treat like chocolate spread. Hello. There's my cameraman. Action. Oh hang on. Right, excuse me, I've just got to go to the freezer. Action. <laughs> the next, the next uh, freezer lunchbox trick is my frozen bananas. These are the bananas that are going cheap in the supermarket and I buy them whenever I see bulk and freeze them in chunks. They go into the blender with, what else? Remember Douglas? With some yogurt, is, is that still in frame? Yeah. With some yogurt. Mixture. You can either use frozen fruit or I've got some leftover chopped up fruit from yesterday's barbecue which didn't get eaten so I'm going to stick that in. And then... And if you can stretch as far as one of these things, this is a food thermos, which isn't brilliant for keeping stuff hot, but is good for keeping stuff cold. So you pour your ice cold smoothie in there. Ta-da! Do you want it? Do you want to eat it now? <coughs> so the frozen banana makes the smoothie really, really nice and cold. Uh, so, it's almost like ice cream, really. It's on. Oh, it's on. Right, okay, so the last one is, um, I'm going to make some Where cheese. Where they go is on. Okay. Cheese straws, but unbaked. So if you actually make them beforehand, and put them in the freezer, unbaked and they only take about eight minutes to bake. 
it like before. So we've got 50 grams of self-raising flour. Uh, how much grams? You're standing on the recipe. No, I'm not. No, not you, the tripod. Eight, uh, 100 grams of cheese. Uh, ideally, you'd have a bit of Parmesan in there, but I've only got cheddar today. 50 grams of butter. And then, this is a sneaky little bit, a pinch of cayenne pepper. Tip it over. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> I've seen it! Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, it should all just cling together quite nicely. It's a bit 